Well, the news uh, first that we're following is at around 9 a.m. You had Arvind Kejriwal and Najib Jung in a breakfast bon homie. It's a nashta meet that has uh, sparked of strong speculation. You had uh, the Amadmi Party government with Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia and Arvind Kejriwal yesterday saying it's a khatta meter relation they've had with each other. The bittersweet uh, working relationship with Najib Jung. They've had a public spat, legal spats, appointment row, you name it. It's been playing out uh, for the people of Delhi. Najib Jung, who took over as the left-wing governor in 2013, has had several headaches after the Aam Aadmi Party government came into power. But this is what uh, Arvind Kejriwal told reporters after an hour-long meeting with Najib Jung. Getting you the inside details of that meeting in just a bit. Take a listen first to Arvind Kejriwal's reaction. Bas unse main milne ke liye aaya tha. Or sir, वो पर्सनल कारण है उनके सर एक घंटे तक आप लोगों की मुलाकात हुई क्या उन्होंने नाश्ते पे बुलाया था सर एक नाश्ता किया well, going across uh, first to Ashutosh, who's joining us. Ashutosh, a one hour long meeting, uh, 60 minutes, much has been discussed. Uh, what's the inside story that you're getting of this breakfast, Bonhomi? Well, Devina, as we are tracking the big story here on India today, that uh, after Lieutenant Governor Najib Jang puts his paper now, he invited Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal this morning on breakfast. And we are, what we are hearing from our highly placed sources, there were several issues being discussed. What our sources claim, though they are completely uh, not verified, were highly top sources claiming that Najib Jang expressed his concern. In, in, in fact, in, in the last interview with Karan Thapar, when uh, Lieutenant Governor Najib Jang did admit that he was unhappy with that nationalism issue with the BJP, and uh, the same issue he discussed with the Chief Minister, that there was a time when he was unhappy with the BJP and the centre government over the nationalism issue. Uh, at the same time, several other issues uh, of course, it was a courtesy meeting when he invited the Delhi chief minister for a breakfast table on a breakfast table for a breakfast meeting. There was not much or a deeper political issue being di uh, was discussed, but rather it was a more courtesy meeting when uh, Najib Jung shared that what he and he's going to, uh, you know, going back to the academics and several other issues being discussed. Devina. Okay, so Ashutosh, be with us because let's take our viewers through several theories that are doing round. On one hand, you have uh, Arvind Kejriwal meeting uh, Najib Jung this morning. On the other, there are theories that are doing round. Theory one, that Najib Jung is tired of uh, bickering with the Ahmadmi party, several face-off appointment rows that we've been seeing. But this is Arvind Kejriwal meeting Najib Jung today morning, saying uh, it was a personal meet, uh, khatta meter relationship is how they have described with Najib Jung. Theory two. Supreme Court observation on uh, Delhi government's power, making uh, Najib Jung the administrative head. Speculation rife uh, that since then Najib Jung has been uh, uh, in an unrest. Uh, theory three, temperament uh, more suited for academics. That's the statement that's come from the LG's office yesterday at 4 p.m. saying that he's more inclined to pursue academic goals. Uh, theory five, interestingly, which is coming out is uh, theory four is that he wants to spend time with his uh, family. And that's why he chose uh, to jump out of the political and uh, bureaucratic arena. But uh, will that be so in the coming days? Uh, Ashutosh, what are the next probables that are doing down uh, for a lieutenant uh, governor for Delhi? And uh, is there also another role that uh, the BJP could be thinking for Najib Jung? Or is it the end of the road uh, as far as his political career is concerned? Well, Devina, uh, after the resignation, I spoke to several Amadmi party leaders, top leaders and the ministers. What I can say that this Jung, even though the Lieutenant Governor uh, Najib Jung has retired, the Jung between civil lines where Arvind Kejriwal president says the Delhi government and uh, the Raj Nimas, Lieutenant Governor, is not going to end up. Whoever comes next, you know, as a left next uh, Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, until and unless Supreme Court take a final decision as far as the powers between Delhi government and the Lieutenant Governor is concerned, the war is going to be continued because Aam Aadmi Party government, they, 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 as they claim that they, they are taking pro-people steps, they are taking several decisions. And we have seen how recently there were several orders citing the constitutional provisions, Lieutenant Governor yes. office, null and void those decisions. Yes. So, I am, yes. uh, you know, we, okay. we can easily uh, interpret and understand that the war is going to be continued between the civil lines, uh, where uh, between the Arvind Kejriwal and the Lieutenant Governor. All right, Ashutosh, be with us because I want to take our viewers through what the Congress is alleging. They're saying it's a forced resignation. Many questions for the BJP to answer. MS Home Kiran Rijiju has clarified that it's a decision that Najib Jung has taken in his own regard. Take a listen. The Congress party ke log aur aam aadmi party ke log jab up rajyapal kaam kar rahe the to usko istifa dena chahiye kehte hain. 
और जब इस्तीफा दिया तो फिर कहते हैं कि क्यों इस्तीफा दिया किस लिए दिया वेल सो एटीन मंथ बिफोर इट एनर एंड Najib Jung putting in his paper saying that I want to return to academics but what next for uh, Delhi's lieutenant governor position because it's not an easy position it's a balancing act to say the least uh, with center with the Delhi government you could have Kiran Bedi who is uh, one of the options uh, current LG of Puducherry BJP chief minister candidate who fought against Kejriwal and that for Kejriwal would mean a tighter control and restriction you have BS Bassi who's in the line as well former commissioner frequent conflict with kejriwal during his tenure again will be a difficult position for the amadi party if he comes in you also have umesh sahgal former delhi chief secretary who could make the cut to close bjp aid and uh, you could see some headache up for amadi party if he also comes in the left and governor's position then you have anil bej now this is the name that is uh, in the front running who's worked with the vajpayee government as well former bureaucrat uh, equation with kejriwal could be a balancing act given his experience uh, dm spolia he is a former delhi chief secretary and uh, he is was removed by kejriwal brought back by the bjp government so if you look at him he's a dark horse right now his equation will be a little difficult with kejriwal and last but not the least uh, you have uh, shakti sena who's a retired bureaucrat and um, he's worked as a personal staff for vajpay so he's a non controversial image could be a balancing factor between uh, the center and the delhi government and we also have one more name that is making the cut as we speak that is uh, kj alfonso who's former kerala bureaucrat member of the bjp national executive committee as well tough political image so could keep uh, amadmi party government on a tighter rate